Hey folks, hey Roland Martin here and welcome to my YouTube channel. And today we're going to talk all about the, the wherewithal and the, all the little things about catching shiners and catching bait and fishing Headwaters Pond. Okay, Headwaters Pond, first of all, is a man-made lake here in Central Florida near Vero Beach. It's where I guide and it's also a non-commercial lake. So let me tell you what non-commercial is. I can guide on this lake and I can use shiners on this lake. I can catch my own shiners on this lake, but I can't sell shiners. So just to, just to be clarify, what, what, what we have here is I'm going to catch shiners today. I'm going to catch them for the guide trips and for the people that I fish with and for my own self, but I'm not going to sell the shiners. So i got to straighten that little point out. Okay, how do I catch shiners? Well, I use a big cast net. Okay, let's talk about a big 10-foot cast net. And I'm going to show you how I throw it. But there's a lot more than just the net. There's a lot more to, 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 to shiner fishing. There's how to keep the bait alive how to chum the bait in the first place. Okay, let's start with the, the first step. Let's, let's have this place where I, I get that pole. See this pole here? Now this is where I put some chum to throw my cast net. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get right in line with it. I'm going to take my trolling motor. And I'm going to take my chum. Move it out here. Just a second, kind of slow and easy. And I haven't chummed this hole yet. What this chum is, this is a combination of two things. It's it's hog food, and it's 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 wet wetting down hog food, and it has also it has menhaden oil. It's the smell it's real oily smelling. It's menhaden oil. Okay, so I'll throw a couple handful of there, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave this spot for a while. I'm going to go somewhere else, and I'm going to come back with the net in about an hour. I'm going to throw the net right where I've thrown the the chum. I'm going to see what happens. I'm going to show you how I keep the fish alive. And I have a regular live well system that's 15 gallons, I guess, of, of, of tank. But I also have this special shiner tank. If I want to catch a lot of shiners, I'm going to use this big tank. And there's a couple reasons. I can put more shiners in the big tank. And I have a, a special hose in the back. If you notice, this hose here comes in from the outside and it adds fresh water. This hose here in the back, it's a drain hose. So now I can get nice fresh water. Then this is an oxygen tank. And I can turn my oxygen on. And it's a pediatric little regulator. And it, it regulates, in this case, I'm going to use a, a quarter of a liter per, per, per uh, I guess a quarter of a liter per, uh, per minute. That's what the regular of exchange is a quarter of a liter per minute. So I turn the, the on. Okay, it comes up to about a thousand pounds of pressure because I've used the tank. I got the pediatric uh, regulator set at a quarter. I'm just going to show you what the quarter looks like. A little pediatric regulator, and it's uh, you get the thousand pounds. You can see the the pressure there. It's a little less than a thousand. I have to change the tank. This is on a quarter. It goes to an eighth. Goes to a half. It goes to three quarters. It goes to one one liter per minute. But I, in this case, I'm going to put it at about a quarter of a liter per minute. I'm going to turn it off for right now because I don't have any shiners in there. Now, that's, that's the other thing. Okay, now, to put shiners in, there's a couple of things I have to do. First of all, we don't want to mess with the slime coat of the, of the shiner. It's a really important thing to have the salt slime coat on the shiner. And that means that keeps away the bacteria. It keeps away a lot of the different things. And so what I'll do in this particular tank, this is regular rock salt, I'll add a couple handfuls of rock salt. I'm just gonna put, I'm gonna put about four handfuls of rock salt in there for the time. Now, I haven't put any water in yet. But let me put another little thing in and I'll just tell you, show you what that is. There's several different chemicals that I have to add. Now, it's healthy. Healthy shiners are a big deal. And keeping shiners are a really big deal. And so what I have here is another really good chemical. It's a concentrated co uh, conditioner for marine and freshwater fish. It, re re it removes chlorine from the water. Well, this water has no chlorine. But it just, uh, what it does, it takes away the ammonia. 
See, the byproduct of any animal is ammonia, and if, you, if the ammonia level gets too high, the fish die. So this takes away some of the ammonia. So I'm going to add a cap full of this prime. Okay. And that's all I'm going to do right now. I have a bunch of other chemicals, and I have a tranquilizer I'm going to add. I'm, I'm going to talk about that in a minute, but for right now, I'll just add the water, and I'll run, run off to the next spot. So I'm going to show them another place. This for right now, let's ease out of here. I'm going to show them up about five or six spots. Now, chances are I only need about, say, six or eight dozen shiners for the rest of the day and fishing for in the morning. So in the meantime, uh, that might only be two or three casts or two or three holes. But I'm going to I'm going to chum maybe six or eight holes just so that I have plenty of chum spots. And just so if I if I don't catch a whole lot of them here, I'll go to the next spot. And I'll probably in about an hour of throwing the net maybe seven or eight times, I'll have seven or eight dozen shiners, hopefully. Sometimes I average as many as three or four dozen per per net full, per, per net throw, if it's a good spot. Okay, let's go over here. I got another hole coming in. Hey, Jerry. Yeah, uh, I just might mention, yeah, that, I just had a phone call and, and it's, uh, I hate to, hate to tell you this, but you know, I've been a bass fisherman all my life and I, I owe a lot to Ray Scott and I just heard that Ray Scott, the founder of BASS, the Bass Angler Sports Society, who I've, I've participated in all their tournaments for 50 years, and he passed away last night. Ray Scott was 89 years old and he also was the man that I, I named my son Scott for. And because I have the most respect for Ray Scott and Johnny Morris, and there's a couple other guys, but Ray Scott was in the top of the list as far as who I respect him so much. But he passed away last night. So uh, I want to kind of commemorate this this little video, if I can, to Ray and talk about his his, his great accomplishments in, in just a, in, in passing. And, and I'll come back with another video later, and I'll talk about the many experiences and stories and, and good times I had with Ray Scott. But, but for right now, I'm catching shiners. I'm on Headwaters Lake. I'll show you how I chum up spots and how how I do it. So let's, let's, let's keep, keep going with that. Come back. Kind of throw it out there. Perfect. Perfect throw. Good throw. But that time, I, threw, I put some chum out. Now we'll see what happens. Good throw. It opened really well. Let's see what happens. Okay. Let's see what I have here. Let's see what I have here. I got a few. Um, we'll just have to go to another hole. <laughs> Not very good. Mostly bluegills, mostly bluegills. We can't keep the bluegills. Put a little bit of water in here. That's a perfect size shiner. That's two. And that's about it, three. And these are all bluegills, about 20 bluegills. Can't keep the bluegills. So we only had, had four and we had, I think six before, it's only 10. So we're getting there. Okay, let's go to the next hole. Okay, okay we got them pretty good. Jumping in and out through the hole. Got a bunch, uh, got about 50, 60 of them.
$200 worth. That is a load of shiners, son. When you catch over 200 shiners, well, under over 100 shiners in a, in a throw, that is a good, good throw. So now we had 119. So, and now we got 219. So, well, folks, you saw how I catch my shiners, and sometimes you catch a, a just one or two or none. And other times you might catch a hundred in the net, just like I just did. And so now we have over 200 shiners. We have almost two gross of shiners. We got like, if we were to sell them on the retail market, we'd have close to $500 worth of shiners in that box right now. I don't sell them. I'm gonna use them up. I'm gonna go fishing right now. I'm gonna also go fishing tomorrow. I got plenty of shiners. Hey, that's my game and I'm good at doing it. We catch the shiners every single day. Hey, and I, I take them back to, uh, to Felsmere Outdoor Resorts. I stay there in a little trailer and that's where I do my guide work at Felsmere Outdoor Resorts. So I tell you folks, we really have a, a great operation and the, the headwaters is alive and well. We've caught double digit fish almost almost every week this, this whole year and, uh, and a whole bunch of the Florida citation fish and it was, uh, in fact the last three days I had Florida citation fish so anyway folks I, I appreciate you watching this video and I hope I taught you a few things about shiner fishing and how to catch shiners we'll see you again soon thank you